All right, everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, I want to teach you how to download your TWC data and open it in Google Sheets so that you can manipulate it there. Oh, shoot. Cut this part out. Darn. Hey everyone, uh, in this tutorial, I wanna show you how to download your TWC data and open it in Google Sheets and create a bar chart with it, kind of like we practiced in class. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to Google here, uh, North Carolina Teacher Working Conditions Survey 2020 and click on that link to open it up. Uh, the landing page pulls up the entire state's data, uh, but over here on Search School, I'm gonna type in uh, my children's school, Holly Ridge Elementary School. You see all 62 teachers were invited and responded for 100% response rate. And you have these different reports. The first one is a set of stacked bar charts. Uh, and the second one's a table. I'm going to click on the table one. It looks kind of like a little grid. And you can see that looks much like the data we analyzed in class with school, district, and state columns on the percent that agree or strongly agree. So I'll export that to Excel. Now we could open in Excel and I have a tutorial on that, but I wanna show you if you don't have Excel and you need to open this file, uh, what you can do is go to your uh, Google uh, Drive and import this file. Um, Google Drive can recognize Excel files. So I'm gonna grab that data that I just downloaded and upload it here into Google. Now, when I double click it, Google is going to open it up in Sheets, uh, but let me use uh, this data. Now, the tricky thing is these data come in as stored as text, not as numbers, because they have these percentages. And so one of the first things we need to do is we need to select the numbers themselves, even though they look like numbers, they're actually stored as text. And I wanna go ahead and I wanna change this uh, to uh, B, and number. So notice it's saying automatic. Uh, I just want to make sure that this is a percent. Okay. The second thing I want to do is get rid of this label here on this row. That's the percent that agree so that I can select, uh, just select the information that I want in my graphic. Having done that, I'm going to insert my chart and we'll see what uh, Google Sheets gives me. Might take just a second here. Okay, as it's loaded, you can see that it has created a bar chart for me. Uh, this would be a vertical bar chart. And these labels are kind of hard to read stacked like this. So instead of having a column chart, I'm just going to switch it to a horizontal bar chart just because for me, it's a little easier to see when I'm reading left to right uh, than kind of looking at these columns. But you can, you can do whatever format you'd like. So basically from here on out, it's just formatting, just window dressing to make it look nice, okay? So the first thing I wanna do is change this, label it as TWC data for time. You could provide a more thorough explanation, but for me, that's a good signal. These are indicators related to time. Um, the second thing we might like to do is these numbers are in the uh, hundreds place. We could of course format them by selecting them in the, the data themselves and hitting this decrease decimal places and moving that over to. Now, when I do that, notice it updates in my table down below. So that's one way to, to kind of clean that up. Um, another thing I might like to do is label this uh, horizontal axis, right? Because it's, it's not labeled currently. So if I right click anywhere in the figure and I uh, go up to chart and axis titles, I can click on a horizontal axis title. And you can see right here on title text that pulls up, it's blank, but here I'm gonna put agree, strongly agree, and that's a percentage. And notice as I'm doing it, it's auto updating. So now I've labeled my X axis. So we know what that percentage represents. And I have uh, manipulated, or I could you know spread this out a little bit if I wanna make this a little bigger, a little longer to try to help with some of these labels. Um, let's say the next thing I might like to do is sort. I might like to sort these data from large to small. 
uh, based on the school. Okay, so I have my indicator sorted from the highest percent agreement to the smallest percent. Well, I don't do that in the in the chart. I actually do that up here in the spreadsheet. So you'll want to select your data, and we're going to go to uh, um, format no data sort range. And this has a header row. So I'm going to click that data has a header row. And I don't want it to be column C. I want to sort by school. And I'm going to sort from large Z to A. I know it's letters, but we're going to use numbers here. But it's Z to A. And notice when I do that, I've now sorted from my largest school uh, to my smallest. All right. So my indicator shuffled. And so teachers are allowed to focus on educating student with, students with minimal interruptions all the way down to class sizes are reasonable. Now, these, these uh, data, you know, these bars I might like to label with the data. Now, when I hover over it, I can see that number, but maybe I'm, I know I'm going to export this to just a picture. So if I just click on this data row, you can see that the, all the green bars are um, edited. Maybe I don't like green. I think this green is kind of ugly, if I'm being honest. Uh, and so maybe I want a little darker green. And um, I change that. And down here, if I just select uh, data labels, notice that that automatically comes up from 87% agreement to 60%. So again, this is just formatting, uh, just trying to make sure everything's labeled, make sure everything's clear. Uh, I could also change, right? Maybe I don't like this red color. I've got a new green. Maybe I want a new red uh, that's not so maroony. And maybe this blue uh, isn't the color I want. Uh, again, this is, this is, oh, that, that was a bad choice. Oh, this, those are not working. All right, those look pretty good together. Anyway, so you're, you're playing around with it now, but this is uh, some of the things you can do to create these bar charts. And of course, we could replicate this action across um, all our other uh, tabs here by facilities and resources and others.